Ah, uh, school. Hi, guys. Half of the school year has passed, so your school supplies must have already worn out or you're just fed up with them, right? Today, I'm going to show you how to make some pretty school supplies you will definitely enjoy at school. For the first craft, we're going to use this wonderful fabric. Are you going to make a pencil case? There are pencils and pens all over the table! That's right, Sammy. Could you bring me a zipper from my sewing box, please? A zipper? Will do! And I will make the base for our pencil case. From this soft craft foam, we will make a pencil case shaped like lips. <laughs> it's so unusual. Let's outline our template with a pencil. So of course you can make a pencil case of any shape. An oval or a rectangle. Whatever you'd like. That's what I like about DIYs. You can make exactly what you want. Not something someone already did. I found this zipper! Will it do? Let's see. Yes! Perfect! Let's glue the zipper to the craft foam pieces. Gluing is much easier than sewing. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Listen, why isn't it neat? Something's sticking out there. Because it's not ready yet, Sammy. There. To make it neat, we'll glue these small pieces. And cut off the excess. To make it neat and pretty. Take it slow. And be careful with the scissors. How does it look? Much better. Well done. Oh, thanks. Now we can unzip our pencil case. But you can't place anything inside. Oh, there's no pleasing you, Mr. Speedy. There will be a bag piece, too. I'll glue it carefully along the edges. Be careful with the glue. There shouldn't be too much of it. I'll apply some glue. And press. There! Well, it does look like a pencil case now. We can put something inside. But, Sue, what do you need this shiny fabric for? Did you decide to make a cloak for me? What? A cloak for you? <laughs> no, no, Sammy. It's for decoration. That's good. Decorating is a very important part of the craft. I can't argue there. Right. We need to cut off the excess now. The fabric is a bit crumbly. But it's okay. Here for the bottom part! Aha! We'll glue it on quickly now. And ta-da! This is the pencil case we made. Shiny and pretty. Wow! Awesome! Quick! Put it all inside! I'm doing that. That's what we made it for. And zip it! Wow! So shiny! Ladies and gentlemen, I came up with a new genius trick! Jumping over an obstacle! Alice! <laughs> Ginger, don't let me down! A unique trick! Hamster jumping! Alice! <laughs> Maybe this will work. Bowie's up! Sammy, what's going on here? Why are the pencils all over the place? Sue, so, we got problems. Ginger thinks he's a king or something. He's impossible to train now. <laughs> it's no surprise. He was a master of a whole pyramid. So he ruined my performance. Why don't we get a frog? Frogs are big on hopping. Sammy, we aren't getting any frogs in the near future. Although... There's this one frog you'll definitely like. And it will deal with your pencils as easily as a trained croaker would. Susie, you have a new craft idea? Then what are we waiting for? Bye, Ginger. Hello, creativity. Hey, guys. Sammy gave me a great idea to make a bright pencil case that will accommodate all our pencils. Gosh, I'm a genius. <laughs> sure. We'll use cardboard and a paper cutter. And lots of imagination. You're right as usual, Sammy. Here's our first part. I wrote all the measurements of our pencil case here. It's big enough to fit all the pencils and other stationery. By the way, our case will have a small secret. Sue, so, are you keeping secrets from me again? What do you have in mind, huh? <laughs> Sammy, I'm not keeping any secrets from you. You can't trick me. I heard the word secret. <laughs> you got it all wrong. The pencil case will have a small secret. 
Oh, like a box with a false bottom? Well, something like that. Where are you going, Sammy? You inspired me. I'll go prepare new tricks for my show. Look here. These are the measurements for our parts. And I cut the upper layer of the cardboard a bit where it should fold. Sammy, could you help me with decorating? Now? So early in the video? You're giving me such an important task? Oh, so I'm in! <laughs> yep, you need to paint the body of the pencil case. Coral on the inside, green on the outside. Here you go, Sammy. I won't let you down! Great. Guys, when working with spray paint, be sure to cover the tabletop. Also, you should wear an apron. Awesome, Sammy! I love these colors! Beauty senses my thing, Sue! By the way, how's your great circus trick going? Uh, I have a little bit of a problem. Rather a big problem. What's the matter? Do you need my help? I just can't get Ginger to play along! He ruins my whole trick! Oh, Sammy, Ginger needs some training to be a part of your performance. Animal trainers spend years on that. By the way, Sam, it's possible to teach a hamster to jump. All it takes is persistence and lots of treats. Sue, I don't want him to jump anymore. I want him to hide in a hat and wait for me to pull him out. Guys, do you know how to train hamsters? Comment and share your experience with me, pretty please. We're waiting for your comments. Maybe Sam will teach Ginger some tricks one day. Actually, I made up my mind already. Animal training's not for me, and it's definitely not for our hamster. Huh, why am I not surprised? I'm about to do a trick here myself. Here's how you make frog lips of two pieces of paper. They'll be full and bright, like pop star lips. <laughs> Did you say something about lollipops? Sammy, what's with your hearing? You're always hearing things about sweets. I need a lollipop right now. I'd like one myself, but the craft comes first. Now to connect the parts of the body. We'll need a green flexible cardboard stripe like this one here. Let's glue it. There. Let's try opening it. Great! Now we'll make pretty lips for our frog pencil box. Now you can kiss our frog, although it's unlikely to turn into Prince Charming. <laughs> then we should make sure that our case closes tight. Sue, I can read your mind! This is what you need! Oh, Sammy, where'd you learn to read someone's mind? I do need these wooden parts. It happened so long ago, back in the Tibidado Mountains. While Sam is wrapped up in his memories, I'll make a lock here. I'll put the lower part of the lock in the hole I made. And then secure it with this piece. There. Time to secure it with glue. Right. Soon, I'll make a long tongue for our frog to be able to swallow pencils. Frogs don't eat pencils. They don't in wild nature, but they can grab something inedible by mistake, say a flying leaf. <laughs> Your frog seems to be all toothy. Well, Sammy, frogs do have teeth. Guys, do you know what frogs need them for? Write in the comments. Our lock is ready. It'll keep the frog's mouth shut. <laughs> You're about to see a super dangerous, unpredictable, and unbelievable trick! In front of your very eyes, Al saw this piece of cardboard! No craft was hurt during this process. Sam! Did you make the part I asked you? Yeah, Sue, give me a minute. Hurry up, I'm getting to the most interesting part of the craft. Let's leave Sam alone. He needs to rehearse. Oh, and he's eager to see your likes. Give a thumbs up to our super magician! I made our frog's tongue out of craft foam. It bends so easily. Sam, if you keep lingering, I'll glue it all without you. No, no, I'm all done here. My trick worked. No one got hurt in the process of cutting and painting the cardboard. Good for you, Sammy. Now I need the pencils you used to train Ginger. A moment. This part will come in handy a bit later. I learned a new trick! Balancing on pencils! <laughs> Sammy, that's really cool! Now watch carefully. You need precision here. So that the pencils don't fall out. Guys, the glue gun is hot. Be careful with this tool. And don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot more tricks hidden in our hat.
<laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. As for the main trick of this pencil case, you'll see it in a moment. Oh, I can only find me the secret. Yeah, the secret secret. Now let's attach our tongue to its designated place. Like this. And then we roll our tongue with the pencils neatly. So they can wait for their shining hour. <laughs> What's the best thing to keep in the secret compartment? Cash, of course. We'll close it with the lid. There. Now nobody will learn the secret this frog keeps. A box with a false bottom. You can save money in this pencil case. Yep, Sammy. I hope this pencil case will actually help you save money. It's a good motivation, Sue, but I'm not making any promises here. Great. All we have to do now is... <gasps> Sammy, what's going on here? Sue, Ginger and I have important business to do. I came up with a new genius trick. Hamster the artist. Sammy, you made such a mess. You know nothing about the art of the circus, Sue. Hey, what's this? These are stickers. I thought you'd be interested to see me finish. Of course I'm interested. Why didn't you tell me right away? I wanted to tell you, but you were sort of busy. May I, may I, may I, may I, may I? <laughs> you can add the yellow dots. She's beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm eager to present our frog pencil case to you. It's a wonder of nature and technology. Assistant? Attention? I Behold all the pencils it can fit. And this is a secret compartment for notes and money. Come on, give us a round of applause, my friends. Likes, comments, and subscriptions are a must. Sammy, that was the best show. I loved it. Bye now. See you next time.